Well, this is the uh, glued up top, and uh, it definitely, uh, this is the only joint on of the three that's acceptable. And these two over here are uh, a bit too, uh, too large for them to be really decent. So I've got to make some stringing uh, to go in there to, to cover that uh, particular area. So I have some uh, curly or tiger uh, maple. Here that um, should make a nice uh, contrast for the uh, stringing. So what I did is I set up the table saw here with a zero clearance throat plate and I cut some strips that are um, a sixteenth of an inch thick and an eighth of an inch wide and you can see them here so I made more than I need uh, obviously so I can pick uh, the better ones and uh, to make sure that uh, I was cutting them to the proper dimension, I have an eighth inch router bit that I took and uh, cut across the grain here. And you can see that I can just squeeze them in there. And uh, they may have to be slightly trimmed anyway. So now I've got to set up a jig for routing uh, a sixteenth inch deep uh, line across that joint. Well I'm practicing uh, cutting the uh, slot for the uh, stringing here and what I've got a, is a piece of scrap plywood that I drew a line uh, down and then uh, I cut this uh, template to be half of the width of the uh, base of the router so that I can put this on the line um, that I draw and then uh, put a board on either side of it and that ends up being the center of where the bit uh, will will come so I have nice and I can slide that up and down and as you can see down here there's the groove and it's hitting the line just about dead center so uh, that looks like a pretty good uh, test and uh, again we can check the stringing to see that it fits in that slot but uh, we should be good to go well I've got the jig set here to uh, route out the uh, 16th of an inch by 8th inch wide and uh, you can see here in the center I marked out approximately uh, how uh, the three uh, pieces will come together so um, I'm going to freehand it and I'm hoping to stop just at the uh, point there. Uh, I could stop a little before and then clean it up with a chisel too uh, for that matter. So uh, we're all set here ready to make a, a pass. Well there's the third groove. All I do is have to clean it up and then uh, chop out the center pieces there with a chisel and then get ready to uh, miter the stringing. So I made this uh, clamping device here uh, so that I can put the stringing in here and then uh, shave it with my block plane so that it uh, fits into the grooves uh, just so. You can see I've got uh, two of them that are, uh, are completed here that uh, fit in there so I'm on my last one. Well there you have it, I glued in the uh, stringing and it came out pretty good uh, it's slightly proud of the surface so it'll be uh, planed and sanded in with the surface uh, once it's dried uh, when I start the finishing so now I'm going to work on the drop leaves well I've milled the boards to the uh, thickness to match the other end of the the top the triangular piece and I've traced uh, the circle template on here and I'm going to cut it out on the bandsaw leaving myself a little bit to sand over the uh, edges with the spindle sander. Well here's the top with the uh, drop leaves uh, set on uh, as they're going to be. They're marked uh, sequentially so that I can put them back where they are. So now uh, the next step is to put the rule joint on uh, the uh, inside as well as the outside drop leaves. 
Well, I've routed the rule joint on um, both the top and the uh, drop leaves, and now I'm cutting the uh, miters, which uh, are the corners where the uh, round come together on the points. So uh, they're 60 degree, and I'm just doing it by hand here. You can see I have my plastic template there to uh, align the, the top to the 60 degrees so that I have a 90 down here and it's just a matter of sawing off that corner. So I have a guide here um, to assist me in keeping it straight. This is uh, the half of uh, the rule joint and I did it like I showed you in the practice video that I had a 5 8 inch round over bit here uh, on the router table and um, it had an eighth inch fillet here and then uh, I had a matching uh, core box bit that uh, cut the other half of the uh, rule joint here by uh, cutting a five eighths inch hollow on it and you can see how the two uh, go together here. Now I've cut the uh, miter on the side here as you can see so that's how the uh, once I apply the hinge how the uh, joint will go together. I also uh, used a uh, router bit here on the edge, on the table edge, and um, applied it. This is an OG bit, um, and um, it, it made a pretty nice uh, edge. Uh, the, it's, rather than having just a simple round over, I kind of like the, the way that turned out. Well, the rule joint uh, has been added to the uh, three sides and uh, I've also mitered the corners where they meet uh, for the table and it, it came out uh, pretty good. So uh, all we do is got to put the hinges on now and uh, the top will be done.